Today we are learning how to do a neck stall. What's going on, little dap? It's DJ Divney, former college player, pro freestyler, and coach with OSA Soccer Camps and Online Soccer Academy. The neck stall is a cool trick to help work on your skill and body control. Don't try it in a game or you might get your head taken off, but have fun impressing your friends before practice. Key points. Key point one, make a pocket. Using your head, neck, and elbows, you will make a pocket for the ball to stall. Key point two, bend forward. At your waist, bend forward as if you were trying to make your back as flat as a tabletop. Key point three, keep your head up. Pick something in front of you to focus your eyes on. Your head up position helps create a wall but that the ball can rest against when stalled on your neck. Key point four, elbows back. Pull your elbows back as if you were lifting weights. Key point five, Use your hands to place the ball on neck. Use your hands to place the ball on the back of your neck. Center it and try not to take your hands off of it until the ball is still. Once still, remove your hands and immediately get your elbows in the elbows back position. If you have a partner or a coach, have them place the ball on your neck. This is an easy way to get started neck stalling. Coaching tip. Most players keep their head down when they try the neck stall. Tap the back of their head and tell them to look up. Key point six. Use your foot to get the ball on your neck. This is advanced, but when you're ready, stall the ball on your foot, flick it up, then stall it on your neck. For tips on how to do a foot stall, click here to watch our foot stall OSA video. The key here is to time the ball as it is coming down. Don't let it just hit your neck and hope it stalls. Instead, imagine catching an egg. If you catch an egg like this, it will break. If you catch an egg by cushioning, it works better. With the next stall from a ball out of the air, you need to cushion it in. I recommend doing your cushion in movement at the same speed the ball is going. Start your movement right as the ball is about to hit your neck. Exercise to practice. To practice on your own, start slow and build up to the end product. Get your body used to how the next stall feels. Once ready, get the ball out and place it on your neck. Stall it for as long as you can. Rest and then try again. Once confident and you got it down using your hands, try the next stall from a foot stall or thigh juggle. Have fun. Bonus exercise. It's called neck stall it. Like, you see it, you neck stall it. Lemons, shoes, books, whatevs. As long as it's not a cactus, neck stall it. What's wrong? If the ball keeps rolling off your neck after you throw your elbows back, you are looking down. If all you see is grass underneath you, you are looking down. Look up. If the ball is rolling down your back, you are too straight up. Bend forward at your waist to make your back more in a tabletop position. Bonus tip. Have a friend video or take a photo of you from the side. Then analyze your form as compared to mine. That will help you visually see what you may be doing wrong. Hope you enjoyed this online soccer academy video. Click here to watch our incredibly helpful 200 plus free videos. Go here if you want a Believe in It shirt. And go here if you are a coach and want to host an OSA soccer camp. My name is DJ Divini, and remember, if you believe in it and back that up with hard work, anything in life is possible. Believe in it!